How's it going YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. I am here on a job site. I've not yet made it home. I'm getting really close to winding it up here. I just got a little bit more pad to take up and get out of here. And then I am headed to the house. But as I was pulling up pad, um, I noticed it throughout the whole area that I've worked so far and it just dawned on me what was going on. So there has been uh, humps, uh, holes, literally chewed. How's it going, Sean? Literally chewed in the floor. And whenever I got right here and just took up this section of pad, I realized what was going on. Um, whoever installed this carpet used a stinger tail. And I just want to show you guys the damage that it does to the floor and the problems that it causes. I'm here putting down some LVP. Looky here. So this is what I'm doing. I'm putting down some LVP all through here right now. Um, how's it going, Ricky Howard? Thank you guys for joining. And coming up to, uh, you obviously have to sand all the seams, all the seams and stuff like that in the plywood. You can see where I done hit that one already, but I just now took this pad up, so I ain't got to get to it. Yeah, I'm working late. But anyway, anything that's raised up on the floor has to be dealt with, okay? So looky right here. It just dawned on me what was going on here as I have already fixed a whole bunch of this mess because it humps up. See this right here? So that right there, it's actually raised up. That is from a stinger tail. Look at the damage that it does to the subfloor. That ha is raised up and has to be addressed before you can even install uh, laminate, LVP, LVT, anything over it besides more carpet. Look, right there's another one. See that? Look at the damage that it does. Right there is another one. Right there. Look at it. So, uh, those of you guys that want to use stingers, let this be a lesson to you. That way you'll know what's going on with the subfloor underneath of it. If you think it's okay to use a stinger tail, this is the problems that it causes right here. I mean, look at that. Just imagine if this was a hardwood floor under here and somebody carpeted over it and they wanted to take it up and do some refinish their hardwood at some time. Look at the damage that would be in that hardwood floor. And like I said, even even uh, just putting laminate, any anything other than carpet going back down here, this has to be dealt with. You know what I'm saying? You can't put anything over that without it doing anything to it, without doing something to it. So that is, that's what a singer tail does. I'm gonna go in this other room. I don't even have the pad up in here yet, but I will take it up real quick and we will take a look and see what is going on in here as well. It makes a mess out of the particle board. Boy, I could imagine on particle board. So I'm gonna guess and say that they started or they stretched this away. So I'm gonna pull this side up and we'll take a look at this. Uh, okay, so I don't see anything over here. Let me check the other side of the room and just see. I don't know why they would stretch this way. It's kind of weird for them to stretch this way, but. Okay. Well, I can't say that I'm seeing anything over here. Maybe, uh, maybe it was up there on the other end. It would make more sense if it was on the other end because of that doorway right there, you'd think they would stretch this way. So let me look just a little bit more. Um, I did deal with it in here over on the other side. I distinctly remember, but now I can't see nothing over here. Uh, to the double stingers do that? Yeah, I'm sure they do, buddy. Only it does it twice as bad. Okay, here we go. Right there, see that? So if you're using a dou double stinger, um, you're only gonna have two of those instead of one. See that? Now here's another one. These are not as bad as what was in that other room right there. There's another one right there, but still it's bad enough that it, they have to be addressed. Even, like I said, even uh, doing laminate or anything other than carpet. If you put anything down but carpet, you have to do something with that so uh 
there's been people asking about stinger tails lately take that store it in your memory bank write that on your do not do list and get the idea of getting the stinger tail out of your head <laughs> all right i'm gonna get this wrapped up go to the house there you go just say no I'm going to get this wrapped up, go to the house, and I will do another live stream giveaway here in just a second. There you go. Pose on every job. That's the way it should be. That's exactly the way it should be. If people say it takes too long to set up stretchers and break them down, you need to learn how to use them, okay? There's stretchers literally take a minute to set up in a room and get ready. That's all, okay? If, you, if it's taking you five or ten minutes to set the stretchers up, you're doing something wrong. You need to learn how to learn how to use them. Maybe if you would use them more often, stop kicking, using stinger tails, use them like you're supposed to, you would get the hang of it and it would speed up, okay? Until next time, I'll see you in just a bit, okay? Get this wrapped up and I'm going to get out here and I'll see you at home. We're going to give away some nice stuff tonight, okay? FBSB's out.